I had the pleasure of working closely with Gary Brasky uh, as well as Adrian Kayla at Stanford University. One thing I remain grateful uh, to Intel for for this day was many years ago when I was building up the STAIR or Stanford AI Robot Project, Gary Brasky and Intel uh, found the funds to donate a robot arm to me uh, at Stanford. And so we used computer vision to do things like can you get a robot to pick up an object that has never seen before? It turns out today, you know, yeah, of course you do that with deep learning. This is, you know, well, you just do it. What's so hard about it? But when we're doing this work for the first time, it was actually a very controversial topic because a lot of computer vision and robotics researchers thought that if you want a robot to pick up, say, a pen that has never seen before, well, surely you've got to have a 3D model of a pen, you need like a 3D CAD model, so a computer, so a robot can compute how to put its fingers around the pen so as to pick it up. And so my group, we thought, no, we don't need a 3D CAD model of something just to pick it up. We said, we're going to use machine learning to learn to do it. We're going to take a picture of whatever object you put in front of the robot, and then just based on the picture, we'll use machine learning to figure out how to position the robot's grippers around the object so you can pick it up. Uh, OpenCV was a key part of the software we're using and it was actually really cool when you know we could get a robot to pick things up without a CAD model. Uh, but I think that work changed a lot of people's thinking about what is possible with machine learning. Over the last 20 years, the rise of computer vision has been incredible. Um, starting with many applications, even before the rise of deep learning, there were more and more computer vision projects being done. For example, with the DARPA Grand Challenge and DARPA Urban Challenge, using computer vision as a component of uh, self-driving cars. And OpenCV was right there running in those cars that you know Stanford and, and many other places built uh, that heralded in the modern era of um, self-driving work. And open source tools, um, OpenCV, Deep learning frameworks have played a huge role in, in enabling all of this exciting progress. Because of the rise of deep learning, there's now the potential to deploy far more computer vision applications than ever before. It just works so much better than it did you know, 10, 15 years ago. And so the number of application use cases has opened up dramatically. And I think this enhances the importance of OpenCV because more than ever, there are more developers than ever that need that software layer to build on top of in order to actually get the stuff to work out there in the real world. But I think this explosion of computer vision developers will cause there to be more and more use cases on which people will be counting on OpenCV for in the future as well. In the software world, we all stand on the shoulders of giants and it's by sharing our work and building on each other's work that together as a community we can build these amazing software products i think opencv has been one very important building block built by giants that i think all of us should feel privileged to be able to stand on their shoulders gary brasky and and the whole team that he led deserves a ton of credit for leading the whole opencv effort um, so congratulations to everyone that's contributed to OpenCV over the many years and happy 20th anniversary.